peace be with you. We have gathered around this memorial today to remember all those from this community and beyond who were and still are caught up in the courage and tragedy of war. We remember all those who were killed in action or by disease, the bereaved, the lost, families shattered by the experience of war, the wounded, the maimed and the injured, those who hold in silence unspeakable memories of warfare. And today we rededicate this war memorial because Jesus taught us that we are members of one another, that we can never live to ourselves alone. And so here we are today as representatives of our community, past and present. And these memorials are here to remind us of lives cut short to give us our tomorrows. And so we pray for those we shall never know, but whose lives are linked with ours, whose shared ground we stand on and whose common air we breathe, that we may find their rest and peace in you, our God eternal, as you make all things new and in who true peace is found. Amen. We rededicate this memorial to the memory of those who died in wars past, and we dedicate this new memorial to those who died in present conflicts, especially those from Coldash and the surrounding areas, those from far away, those whom, whose names are remembered here, and those whose names are known only to God. May these memorials be a witness to lives remembered, a reminder to us and to future generations to work for peace and unity, built upon the sacrifice of those we honour here today, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As we remember those who fought and those who remained anxiously at home, particularly from this community of Coldash, let us pray that God will heal all memories, speak word of peace, and bring us his healing. We use a Kyrie confession. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw us to himself and cleanse us from our sins, that we may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The names of local fallen from both World War I and World War II will now be read. 1945 war, William Atkins, Stanley Burgess, Robert Coppinger, Oliver Godfrey, Godfrey, Francis Oliver Jones, Harold Ralph, Frederick Webb, Edwin Woodgate, Stephen Woodgate, and Albert Woodley. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, 
and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Let us pray. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those men and women who have died in active service, particularly during the First and Second World Wars. As we honour their courage and cherish their memory, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Jeremiah, chapter 31, beginning at the 31st verse. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another and say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. Blessed are the peacemakers. Amen. For they shall be called the children of God. Amen. Let us pledge ourselves today to live as good neighbours, to honour the past, to care for all who are in need and to live at peace among ourselves and with all people. And I ask you to repeat the lines after me. Lord God, Father of all, Lord, Lord God, God, Father, Father of, of all, all, we pledge ourselves to serve you and this neighbourhood. We, we pledge, pledge ourselves, ourselves to serve, serve you and this neighbourhood, to bring relief to all who are in need, to we bring relief to all who are in need, and comfort to the sad, and comfort to the sad, to the lonely, to the lonely, and to the distressed, and to the distressed. Keep us ever mindful of the struggles. Keep us ever mindful of the struggles and achievements of former generations and achievements of former generations and of this place where we make our home and of this place where we make our home now and in the days to come. Now and in the days to come. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen our hearts and hands and minds, O Lord, to work together for peace, to see you in one another, and to seek your kingdom above all things, that your will may be seen to be done 
and your kingdom come through Jesus Christ, the Lord of lords and King of kings. Amen. Amen. We ask that God's will may be done in this place and every place. So we pray the prayer that Jesus himself taught us as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
May God grant the living grace, the departed rest, the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all the world, peace and concord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.